uh, let's talk about the cabin. I know you've talked about it a lot, and you probably don't want to talk about it with me. But I wanted to ask you about um, how it made you feel. Are you are you proud of it? I'm very proud of it. You should be. I'm very, very proud of it. I'm really proud of you. You did you a know, great job. I, I've I, The thing that I have said consistently when I worked for Travel Channel was we would shoot stuff, and it would be hilarious, and we would have a great time doing it. And then I would see the edit and I would not like the edit. Mm -hmm. I would always be like, this is not as good as what we did. Yeah. And then when we did the cabin, we shot the first day. I remember Tom going, this is fucking hilarious. And I was like, I remember just being like, yeah, but it won't be. Because like, at the end of the day, they'll edit it where it's not. It's, they're going to make it really horrible. Boy, That's that wasn't what, true, was it? Man, shout out to Jeff Tomzik. Right. Shout out to Ben Cavey. Shout out to all the people at Netflix, all the people at Rotten Science, all the Todd Garner. Shout out to, and shout out, massive shout out to my wife. Aw, well, thanks, because You know babe. for a fact, and I'm not to fucking show too much behind the curtains, but I did not watch any of those edits. I watched a couple. Well, you watched the ones that I told you to watch. Because I, oh, I watched all of fair. them. And you then watched I all the edits, and you had all your notes, and you then you sent them this, to me. That's right. And I looked at them after you looked at them, because I could not. Yeah. So I was like, I don't want my heart to be broken and watch this show. And I remember laying in bed one day, and you were watching Anthony Anderson and Dion Cole and Big J, and you were crying laughing yep. in the living room. And I went, is it funny? Yeah. And you're like, honey, this is really it's funny. It's really funny, And yeah. then you watch Miss Pat, and you're like, this is the funniest shit I've ever seen. Yeah, it was but really still, funny. But still, still, uh -huh. I had not watched these edits through. I would watch clips yep. to find out what you needed notes on or what you thought. Yeah, that's right. And But I had not watched the edits through. And when I watched them the other night with you, and then this is horrible to say that as the talent and executive producer of the show, I could not sit down and watch. And I watched a full edit with Tom Zick before we knew what the show was. I watched a full edit yeah. of Tom and Joey and Miss Pat. And we laughed hysterically at both. And we were like, but they were very, very different episodes. Right. And we were trying to figure what way to go with the episodes. And when I watched, um, when I watched him with, with you and Isla the other night, and I was laughing out loud. Yep. I was so proud yeah. that I had finally been a part of something that worked. And I was like, I told you I'm not a failure. In my head, I was like, and then for people to like them, like for for like people to like them yeah. and be like, there, that was funny as shit. Right. It means so much. You just you you always want to make something that people like. That's yeah. it. That's a, and I just had never done that. Right. And I've been doing it for so long. Yeah. My first show, the X show, was panned by fans. Like, I mean, fans did not like the show. When I, as soon as I came on it with Gary Valentine, they hated us. They hated us. And so, oh, well, that's because there was a change of the guard. Yes. That's um, the way that happens, right? Hurt Burt, no one ever saw. And it was funny. Hurt Burt was funnier when I told you the story about it than watching it. Right. Like when I told, and then I was like, okay, I'm just, I'm better at stand up. I'm very, very proud of the cabin. I think. Um, Do you think your dad's proud of the cabin? I think he is now. Yeah. I think he is now. I yeah. think that. He's very much like, you don't, you know, one of those guys, you don't celebrate success. You just kind of like, hey, yeah, 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 whatever. Keep she, moving. Yeah, keep moving. And I think I'm that way a tad bit. Mm -hmm. I know I had a hard time celebrating the success of the cabin that first week when it started doing well. Yeah. And it was like number one script unscripted on Netflix. Yeah. I remember having a hard time trying to celebrate that. Right. And I remember going like, losers fucking sitting there and celebrate winners just keep that's working. not true because not if true you don't now. mark a success it doesn't really burn into your psyche that you had a success which then boosts your self-esteem right that's an intrinsic piece you've succeeded at something that you worked really hard at it's an intrinsic value piece that's important that you mark um you said it you my favorite saying you've ever said i don't even know if you remember saying it but i'll say it again um we were driving down um probably wits it i think maybe or maybe we're driving down little canyon and amy schumer's um amy schumer's movie came out mm -hmm. train wreck and you said good for her you're like she earned her monday and i went what and you're like think of that you're like all that work she put into that movie all that writing all that acting all that work all the shooting all the editing she puts it out on friday and it does great on the weekend. Well, she doesn't have to do shit on Monday. She's earned that Monday to relax and celebrate in that victory. And you're like, it's very important to earn your Monday and celebrate in that victory. You just kept saying, she earned her Monday, the way you talk. <laughs> and I love that saying. I loved it. And I told you, I think I told you this when I did my special, when I did 
um, uh, Secret Time. Yeah. I when I I bombed that first show, mm -hmm. I refused to bomb on that second show because I wanted to earn my Sunday. Right. Because that was Saturday night and Sunday we were going right. to hang out with Nana. Yes. And all my cousins. Yes. I said I want to earn my Sunday. Right. And I earned my Sunday with that second show, and I got to enjoy my Sunday. Right. All the work had been done, and I didn't have to do anything. I didn't have to reply to one email, one phone call. I earned that Sunday. And when that when the when the when 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 uh, the cabin dropped and on Tuesday and was trending number six into the weekend and it was one of the bigger things happening, um, I I did not we did not have shows that Monday. I was on the road when that all that happened and we mm -hmm. didn't have shows that Monday, and I gave myself that Monday. I didn't earn. I didn't say I gave myself that Monday. Yeah, where I said I'm gonna enjoy myself right and i'm going to celebrate the success of this and i'm going right. to enjoy it and then i was i think i started getting sick oh getting a cold yeah and so and, so, and then I, and then and then oddly enough the way netflix works is if something does do well you then have to start doing press for it because you can't do press until it's on the platform for right. everyone knowing and so then once it does well then all of a sudden the, all the work comes in and right. now i've been busting my ass promoting it doing shows and trying to come up with ways to promote it um to, so that people get more eyes on it but i'm very very proud of it I'm very proud of it and I'm very I'm very proud of the people I had on it because yeah. the people I had on it are the funniest people I know. Like yeah. they're, they're, they are the people that make me laugh the hardest that you don't have to queue up. I mean the the best the best in the business in my opinion. Well, I thought it was really great who you had on it too because they are people that you've known for a very long time. Uh, they're long, lifelong friends. Um, I've known Donnell 21 years. Exactly. I've uh, known Miss Pat probably 10. Yep. I've known Tommy for about 18 years. I've known Joey for about 10, 15, no, 11 years maybe. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, they're, uh, Dion Cole, I've known for, I've known Dion for probably 15 years, 16 years. Right. Big J I've known. I mean, I've, there are people I absolutely adore and I, and I, and I, I'm very proud of the way they performed in it because they, you know, for, for those of you that are wondering how it worked is there wasn't a lot on paper for them to, to know what to do. They just had to trust you. They just had to trust me and then trust that the things we were doing were going to be fun and, and, and not shut down and be a part of it. Nikki Glazer, they, I mean, they were just, Nikki Glazer showed up and was like, so who am I doing this with? And I said, Caitlyn Jenner's on her way. And she went, are you fucking kidding me? And I went, is that bad? And she goes, Bert, that is really bad. And I said, why? And she goes, oh my God, oh my God. I go, I thought you did the roast with her. And she's like, I did. And then the next day I went on Stern and told all the jokes the network wouldn't let me tell. Oh. And I was like, really? And she's like, and they were horrible, Bert. And I was like, oh fuck. And she was like, and it, but Nikki trusted that I wasn't going to throw her under the bus and that right. wasn't my intention. Right. And then we had a great time. Yeah, you did. it seemed like th they had a great time. In yeah. particular, it seemed like the two of them got along really great. It was really fun to watch. I I'm so it. proud of the work you put into it. You, well, and you did not, and, and I have to say this, is you did not get the credit you deserved aw, because aw. of because of locking picture at a weird, weird time and COVID and all the weird things that went on. But um, but you should have gotten an executive producer credit on that because no. you put you put in uh, more work than I mean not more work than I did, but no. as much in the I editing didn't put process more work as than I did. anybody. I didn't know uh, than me than me in the editing process. You did all the heavy lifting for me. You did all you you read all the notes. You went through all the cuts. You would hand it to me and go here's what i think here's what you what they're saying tell me what you think you did all that you were that liaison for that and you deserve so much more credit than than i than i think you got on the show but then that people should know oh thanks babe that's really sweet what they did in post on that oh, was incredible amazing they yes they they edited that story together beautifully because you guys kind of approached it very renegade and very let's just shoot this shit and see what we come up with we have a general idea but no like backbone story no no this must happen every show i don't think right no it was it was very so, very but very in post, free. you got to come up with that and it worked it was really great yeah i'm very 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 proud of it you i'm glad very proud. If, it, if we just do one season i'm super proud of it and i'm cool with like going that was the thing i did i hope everyone liked it right it you know 
for whatever reasons, and I'm certain that it's there's so many reasons on why they would you would do a second season of things mm -hmm. that are beyond what I inside like other than people liking it. I'm yeah, sure right. there's other reasons. But um, if we just did one season, I'd be very proud. And if we did another season, I'd be very willing to do that too. It was that it was a lot of fun. Yeah, it was a great January. It was great, and yes, it was a great January.